What's the difference between promise at all and promise at all settled in JavaScript? The simple answer is that in promise at all, the promise would reject if one of the promises in the array rejects. But with promise at all settled, even if one promise rejects, the other promises would still be settled. I have a simple example here to illustrate the difference. Here I have a function called set timeout promise, and basically here I'm returning a new promise which is going to resolve after a specific delay for the set timeout. So here I have promise at all, then I have a promise set timeout promise for one second for two seconds and for three seconds and in the case that the promise resolves then i log the result if it rejects i log the error and in the case of all settled same thing log the result log the error now if i should come here and run this javascript well we have the first promise one second two second three seconds and what we see in the case of promise at all is that it returns an array of the resolved values because here we call resolve delay so here we resolved 1000 2000 and 3000 and in the case of promise at all settled we have something similar but with extra information here we have an object which has the status of the promise in this case the status is fulfilled and then we have the resolved value this case fulfilled resolved value this case fulfilled resolved value but then let's say that for some reason our promise rejects um, here i'm just saying if the delay is 2000 it should reject but you could think of this as like an api request or any other asynchronous operation so which means this is going to resolve but this is going to reject because i'm passing 2000 and this is going to resolve now let's see what happens if i run no test again so one second two second three seconds and now we have this so what happens in the case of promise at all is that even though this one resolved for the fact that this one rejects then this promise is going to reject and that is why in the catch block here we have error one and then we get the error in this case we have error one and the rejected error is 2000 which is what we did here by saying reject delay so because one of these promises rejected then our promise dot all rejects but in the case of promise dot all settled this resolved fine this rejects and this resolved fine but instead of this promise dot all settled allowing one rejected promise to sort of stop the other promises it still settles every promises and returns their information so in this case you can see we have status fulfilled this is the resolved value then we have status rejected and this is the reason which is the value that we rejected and then here we have status fulfilled and then we have this value here so again, difference between promise at all and promise at all set. So in the case of promise at all, one rejected promise would cause promise at all to reject. But in the case of promise at all settled, one rejected promise or two or more is not going to make the promise reject. Instead, the promise would still resolve with the result of all the promises that you pass in the array.